All right, next in the blob tracking series is pupil tracking. Uh, pupil tracking. So let's see, we have this, I built this head mounted infrared eyeball camera. You know, just for fun. Just for fun. <laughs> um, I wanted to see if I could build a gaze tracker that could tell based on where my pupil was in, this, in the video frame. So the video frame is me really close up on my eye and it's just looking at basically my eyeball. And as I look around, uh, basically shift my eye position, it can track the center, the black part of my eye, the pupil, and based on where that is, sort of infer what direction I'm looking. Because the camera is mounted to my head, it doesn't matter if I move my head around, that doesn't matter. It's only looking at my pupil moving around. So let's load that up and play it. There it is. All right, so I, I may be moving my head around here. It, it doesn't really, I, it's hard to see, but um, all right, so what are we doing? We're going to the matrix, so we have this movie matrix, uh, grayscale, RGB to Luma, and then only changed frames. Um, and then I'm looking at threshold. Why didn't it, threshold 20, radius three. So let's change this, we'll do, this is an adaptive threshold. This is part of the CG, CVJIT library. Um, so this is an adaptive threshold. Basically does um, thresholding at various levels throughout the video frame. So let's see, radius three. Uh, no, this doesn't, there we go. Okay, so the radius just needed to be bigger. Uh, so threshold and then the radius, let's see if I make that. Oh, that's too big, okay. All right, once you get this dialed in, it is kind of magically able to zone in on just my pupil. Um, and then we're sending that black and white blob trackable video into the blob labeler. Blob labeler is doing centroids, sending, and then this is filtering out just the biggest blob. Um, using the ZL object, it's looking at the first element in the list, which is always the biggest blob. Um, and then, so this is the XY coordinates, X and Y, mm -hmm. and then it draws the target on those XY coordinates, um, drawing back over the original video frame. And um, right. there you go. I mean, essentially though, this is still just blob tracking. What makes it a pupil tracker is that it's focused on your pupil, the video is. Exactly, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So in this case, what, um, the adaptive thresholder, which is in the video processing modules, mm -hmm. we just didn't show it until now. So um, using the adaptive thresholding on, it happened to work really well on this particular video. Um, so just goes to show that, you know, these video processing modules are really powerful. And once you figure out how to turn this black and white image into this, you know, black background with a white dot, that's where most of the work is. Yeah. And then, you know, once you get it into the right format, you just run it through the blob labeler and it's going to spit out the XY coordinates really easy. It's pretty cool. But yeah. Adaptive thresholding is, um, it says good for uneven illumination, adjusts the threshold based on the brightness of an area surrounding each pixel. So, um, that's really useful in this particular case. So yeah, all kinds of stuff you could do with an eye tracker. Uh, there's a YouTube video we show in class where this guy has ALS. It's, mm -hmm. what's, what's the name of that video? It's a oh. eye writer, mm -hmm. eye writer. He's the yeah, guy can, who did the graffiti guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can look up eye writer on YouTube and there's this nice video, this project they did where they this guy had ALS and couldn't move his hands or arms or legs or anything. And he used to be um, a graffiti artist. He was a graffiti artist and, uh, and then he, who made that video? Who made that project? I don't recall. Anyway, okay. Um, his friends. I thought it was like his yeah. friends got together with some people to do it. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, it was a nice project. Lovely. And, they, and then they used a projector outside his window, and he was tagging the building across from the hospital where he was being treated. So, um, cool project. Was it Kyle McDonald? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, move it on. All right, move it on. <laughs>